This post has been updated. Sweden has delivered the world's first shipment of steel produced without the use of fossil fuels, a major milestone on the road towards cutting carbon emissions from industry. A shipment of the steel was delivered to Swedish truckmaker Volvo AB, but industrial quantities of the stuff won't be available until 2026. The news is significant in the context of efforts to limit climate change. While much emphasis has been placed on the role of fossil fuels in electricity generation, research published by Carbon Brief shows that just 553 conventional steel plants worldwide are responsible for 9% of all carbon dioxide emissions, owing to the large quantities of fossil fuels, in particular coking coal, used to produce the alloy. The IEA forecasts that steel production globally will grow by a third through to 2050. Speaking at a press conference, the Swedish Minister for Business, Industry and Innovation Ibrahim Balin said he was happy to be Minister for Enterprise and Energy in a country where industry is bubbling with energy for a green reset. Balin further noted, industry and especially the steel industry create large emissions but are also an important part of the solution. The steel was created by a joint venture between Swedish steelmaker Saab, energy company Vattenfall, and iron or mineral Co. A technology dubbed hybrid, a contraction of hydrogen breakthrough iron making technology, replaces fossil fuels both in the production of the iron pellets that are the key ingredient of steel, and in the removal of oxygen from the iron by replacing carbon and coke with green hydrogen. Saab then uses that iron to produce steel slabs for delivery. The whole country of Sweden produced just over 45 million metric tons of CO2 emissions in 2020, but across all its operations Saab was responsible for almost 9 million. Hybrid claims that by eliminating fossil fuels from the steelmaking process, it could reduce Sweden's total CO2 emissions by at least 10%. Martin Lindqvist, CEO of Saab, told media, the first fossil-free steel in the world is not only a breakthrough for Saab, it represents proof that it's possible to make the transition and significantly reduce the global carbon footprint of the steel industry. We hope that this will inspire others to also want to speed up the green transition. Anna Borg, CEO of Vattenfall, which is also responsible for some of Europe's largest wind farms, said Hybrid shows how partnerships and collaboration can contribute to reducing emissions and building competitiveness for industries. Saab, Lokab and Vattenfall say they will begin full industrial production of the new steel in 2026. Earlier this year, Volvo announced that it would be the first manufacturer to produce vehicles from fossil-free steel. While this project might be the first to deliver, it's far from the only project working on the challenge to create green steel.